The idea of running mountain cleaning courses came from this spoof video made by Switzerland Tourism for April the 1st. But that is really not pretty. It showed the lengths to which the Swiss were prepared to go to keep the Alps clean. The moment bird droppings are spotted, a crack cleaning team is called out. They're prepared to dangle off cliff faces and balance on mountain peaks to get the job done. Bird droppings attack our mountains. The result? Cavities, just like our teeth. Three million years from now, the Matterhorn will look like this if we don't act now. 100 million people watched the film, shot in the Bruni area, and 30,000 people did the online test to see whether they have what it takes to become mountain cleaners. The response was so overwhelming that the Bruni cable car company decided to run its own mountain cleaning courses, which were quickly booked up by people like Kip and his friends from England. It's a birthday present from my friends who we meet up every year and have done for 20 years now, and I didn't know where we were coming but they heard about the desperate plight of the mountains in Switzerland. And where I live in Cambridgeshire, it's too late. The birds have dropped everywhere and the mountains are all totally gone now. So Kip and his mates signed up to stop the Swiss Alps going the same way. After a wholesome lunch, the mules are saddled up and we all march off along the Bruni Path. There are a few stops along the way to study the avalanche protection barriers and to talk about local wildlife. Hello, <laughs> this is our place to working. We take all these stones and put it together. These people are removing stones from the grasslands. Rich. And this oh. will uh, help to prevent the erosion and it will improve the meadows for grazing for the cattle. I've never been this high up before. In your life? In my life, yeah. So I'm looking down going, whoa, <laughs> it's all right. Can I see your hands? My hands? Yes. Swiss hands, Swiss watch, Swiss cap, Swiss guy. Drain a little bit. The people won't go back at the, at the Bruni Hütte, also they work hard now. That's right, they just want to go back and have some schnapps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, later, later. Yeah, these crazy people, so all the way when I said some things about schnapps, they, what, 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 where is the schnapps? <laughs> Kit brushes up on his cleaning skills. <laughs> Despite the school's out feeling, the day's not yet done. First, there's a bit of Swiss torture, the Kitzelpfad, the tickle path. A walk around the edge of a freezing cold lake with specially prepared surfaces, some of them fairly rough on the feet. It's supposed to be good for you. And then the final test before certificates are handed out to the now fully fledged mountain cleaners. How many childs are on the on the ski area there in a in winter time? In winter time. Two thousand, yes. Too many. Too many. Too many. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not too many. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good. Ruth is now Felsenputzerin mit Fachausweis. Wow. Congratulations. Merci. John McLean. <laughs> For your birthday. Ah, thank you. Now we have the technical skills. Exactly. It's very difficult to learn. And how do you feel about that? Just euphoric. <laughs> and Joshua. I'm this just, is I'm the happiest day of my life. <laughs> 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 and 